Hello, this is Nick from Community Builder, and this is the first in a series of uh, short tutorials about Community Builder 2.0, the next generation community building software for Joomla. Okay, I'll be starting off with uh, a clean Joomla 3.3.6 website, and basically I have the default Joomla content installed, so this is what the front page look like, looks like. In the backend area, notice that I only have the built-in components for Joomla. And there are basically two menus, a main menu and a user menu. If we look at the user menu, we'll see some of the default links here. Uh, and if we look at the control panel, we'll see the default control panel. I'm showing you these now because we'll see some differences once we install Community Builder 2.0. So the first thing we have to do is go to uh, Joomlapolis, the Community Builder download area after you register, and click the free download to download Community Builder 2.0. Okay, once we download, we go to our Joomla extensions, extension manager, click on the extension package, find what we downloaded. It's a PKG basically. There we go. Find the PKG package we downloaded, select it, click upload and install. And we should get in a couple of seconds the success completion message. Uh, you'll notice here on the success screen, we have a getting started resources link. And that'll basically take us to Joomlapolis and we'll basically see a series of short articles, which I advise everybody to go through. We'll be going through some of the items in the tutorials, but you can always see them uh, individually by visiting this page. So, <clears throat> once we install, the first thing we see right away is a new administrative navigation menu here called Community Builder, which is a drop down and has various Community Builder shortcuts in it. Uh, we will see that Community Builder has also been added here to the Joomla Components menu with its own, just one level though of menus here. The Community Builder has multiple levels here. So you can basically go to various community builder areas either through this uh, shortcut or through the generic Joomla menu that's been added. We'll also notice on the system control panel that we'll see basically two new areas here. We'll see community builder news area panel and community builder updates. These two areas basically are um, second are basically used to inform inform you of community builder news and also of add-ons that are outdated on your specific website that there are new releases for now going to the another thing we'll, we'll notice is this menus here area uh, we've uh, community Builder has added a new community builder menu to your joomla menus and there's a set of existing menu items created. Uh, you can move these items to other Joomla menus depending on how your website is structured or you can just create a Joomla alias to one of these items if needed. Uh, looking at the front end now of our site and doing a refresh here, we'll see that in addition to the Joomla login form that's still here, there's a community builder login form and they kind of look the same. Uh, the only difference is the Joomla form will take you to this user registration form and the community builder sign up form will take you to this form. Now the first thing we probably want to do is shut down uh, the Joomla login registrations Joomla login and registrations to just keep all our registrations and logins coming from the community builder login 
form. So what we want to do basically, and th these are outlined here in these, in these tutorials, the Getting Started tutorials, but let's just go first of all and visit Community Builder configuration area. And the first thing we basically, at least first thing I do is, you know, change this name style. Instead of the single name, let's just have a first name and last name field. And let's just save this. And if we go and revisit the Community Builder registration page and refresh, we'll see that we have now first name and last name fields on our registration form, which is kind of cool. Uh, going back now, the, another thing we might want to do is change the dates field is set up for US date as default. You might want to make it more international, maybe year, year, month, month, day, day is a little more generic. Uh, and, and the next thing you want to do is go to the registration tab here. And you see the very first parameter here on the registration tab says allow user registration. And it basically says either follow the CMS or set it independently for the CMS. What we want to do is set it independently, save this, and then go to Joomla user, user manager, and click the options, and basically turn off registrations in Joomla, and save this. The end result of this basically is the Community Builder sign up page will still work. If somebody goes to the Joomla sign up page, First of all, the Joomla module does not have, will not show you a sign-up page anymore because we've turned it off. So that's what I want to do. The next thing we probably want to do is unpublish this login form. There's no reason to have two login forms on our website. We do this from the Joomla extensions module manager. We find the Joomla login form and just click here to unpublish it. If we go and refresh our home page here, we'll see we only have the Community Builder Login and the Community Builder Online modules. Okay, so this is the first step. We've turned off Joomla, Logins and Registrations, and we've kept Community Builder Logins and Registrations. If we go to the back end area here and we see Community Builder, the User Management area, which we should be using from now on instead of the Joomla users, user manager. There's no reason to go here anymore. Uh, any changes you make here will basically be reflecting in the Joomla user management area so you don't have to worry about any synchronization. First thing we probably see here, if we edit the user manager, we now have first name and last name. So we should basically add those here, super admin, for example. Just save. Great. Well, this is the first step. Uh, it should be relatively painless to get to this point. I'll be stopping here. I want to keep these as short as possible, and we'll continue with the next tutorial, hopefully in a couple of days. Thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.